The U.S. Open is coming back to Oakmont Country Club next summer, and the club is ready to rock for the 125th playing of golf's toughest test. The course is set to host the U.S. Open for a record 10th time and has undergone extensive renovations, taking it back to some of its roots. Gil Hans led the renovation projects, but that work is all complete now. We're ready to rock. Just got to get a grow the rough up a little bit. Oakmont Ground Superintendent Mike McCormick says they will start growing that rough up in the spring, but not much else will change in their day-to-day -day preparations. You know, the nice thing about the U.S. Open at Oakmont is um, from a fine turf playing surface perspective, greens, approaches, fairways, tees, we really don't do anything much different. A majority of the renovation work at Oakmont was focused on its historic and legendary greens. So I think one of the one of the most special things about Oakmont is certainly the green surfaces and, and more so than that, the actual type of grass we have on them. Oakmont's greens were expanded by a total of 24,000 square feet. Scott Langley, the USGA's Senior Director of Player Relations, says that there's a lot more pinnable space on these greens now. So I think what we have now is just a restored version of what it used to be um, with all that square footage. Um, and what that gives you is just a lot more options from a whole location standpoint to present a little bit more variety um, during you know, the four days of the competition. Langley and his USGA team have been making visits to Oakmont for at least a year to get familiar with the property. When laying out the course, the team says they'll use the blueprints from the past and then make adjustments with guidance from Oakmont staff and membership. We acknowledge that our host sites know the golf course better than we ever will. Langley says there are notions that the USGA likes to see players punished with difficult scores, but he shot that idea down being reality. I think that's a, a little bit of a misconception with the USGA. I, I think we look at score as a metric, but not like the metric. While there still will be a focus on making it challenging, Langley says the USGA isn't going to manage course setup based on the leaderboard. I think at the end of the day, a US Open means that a par is a good score in every hole doesn't mean you can't make birdie um, and doesn't mean you won't make bogey. I mean, I, I think a place like Oakmont, like I could see this place bogeying you to death. Langley says it's been fun getting to know the Oakmont staff and he's been doing his due diligence reading up on the club and its history while prepping for next year's tournament. You know, I, I just, uh, it's a magnificent place. Next year's U.S. Open at Oakmont is set to tee on June the 12th.